sugar, we, we have this concept of you in the center, the actions, the activities you engage in around you. And we, we don't talk about just applications, we talk about activities. Because an application is just a tool. The activity is using the tool and all the things that are associated with its use. And the things that are associated with its use are not just creating things, but the things that you create might be saved somewhere, they might be shared with other people. So there, there's, there's a whole set of things that happen when you make things that aren't just the act of making, but it's the, the ecosystem in which the making occurs. And so sugar really is about that ecosystem. So one of the things that sugar does is it has this concept of, of a neighborhood, other users, <coughs> other learners out there that you're collaborating with, that you're working with. And it also has this concept of a journal, that the things you make are saved because learning is not just doing, but it's also reflecting upon what you're doing. So we have this idea that you collaborate, engage in a critical dialogue with other people about what you're doing, and that you can be self-reflective about what you're doing. So these are the two things that distinguish sugar from just a collection of, of applications. It's not just a collection of applications, but it's a framework in which these applications are used that encourage certain types of behavior by the learner. And in particular, encourage collaboration, critical dialogue, and reflection. Because without those, the learning is not nearly as impactful. So, just a little bit about some of these things. So we've got hundreds of, of applications of activities that you can use in Sugar. We've got word processing, we've got web browsing, some of the usual collection of things. And then we've got a bunch of other things that are, that are a little bit different and, and kind of engaging. Lots of focus on construction, lots of focus on programming. And I'll go into a couple of those examples in a few minutes. We also have this idea called the neighborhood. And how many of you have used uh, Google Docs? Probably everybody's used Google Docs at this point. Um, Google Docs, for those who, who haven't used it, what you can do is you're, you're in your word processor, you've written something, say, in, in open office, and you decide that you want to share it with someone because you want their input, you want them to collaborate with you. Now, one of the things you can do is you can just email your document as an attachment to that other person. They can make their edits. They can send it back to you. You can compare documents or do a merge and see the changes. Four or five steps involved, but it works. It doesn't really take advantage of you know, version control. Once you do that, you sort of have a binary decision. Do I accept the merges or I don't? You can do them one, one after another, but it's fairly clumsy way of, of working in a collaborative fashion. What Google does is I can take my document and I can go to Google, I can upload it onto their server, and then I can send an invitation to you to say, here's, here's where my document is on the server, would you please go in and, and work? And now we're both working on the same document. Problem again is that there, there are still quite a number of steps involved and also, there's sort of this underlying assumption that we're both connected to the internet all the time. Or at least we're connected to the internet whenever we want to work. So, Sugar does it a little differently. Uh, Sugar tries to emphasize this notion of peer editing. It turns out to be a powerful um, pedagogical meme. But we don't do it by using a, a, a remote server and requiring you to take all these steps. What Sugar does is it lets you collaborate with one mouse click with another person all the time. You're always just one mouse click away from sharing something with someone else and having them work with you. So if I wanted to invite you to collaborate on my document, uh, or if I wanted to have you collaborate on my presentation, as in this case, I just go to the, the, the Sugar toolbar Actually, I go to, the, to this toolbar, and uh, there's, right here, there's a button. There's a one button, and I can have my presentation be private, or I can make my presentation be shared with another person or with my, with my neighborhood. So if I click on this now, suddenly my presentation is, is public, 
And if I come out here to the neighborhood, there's my presentation being shared. Now, I'm not connected to the network. These are hotspots, and I haven't connected yet, but otherwise you'd see the other people that I'm sharing with. So the, the idea that, that, that sharing your document, collaborating with someone else, is always just one mouse to the way in sugar, is, is um, a powerful pedagogical mean. And we use it in all different ways. We use it all throughout the interface. So we use it for peer editing. That's what you see here. So one, one, two people, two students can work in the same document at the same time. You can make my corrections for me in real time with two cursors or multiple cursors. We use it for sharing bookmarks in the browser. So it's sort of like delicious, only it's real time and it's always there running all, all the time. We use it for sharing photos. We sort of have real time flicker because of the, when you're using the camera in Sugar, you can share photos directly with, with other students. We use it um, in, in tools like TurtleArt, so when I'm programming, I can have another student look over my shoulder and help me with my program. We use it throughout the interface as, as a means of sharing, a means of collaboration. Now, ironically, the only time in life where collaborating is called cheating is in school. In the rest of life, when you collaborate, you're called smart, efficient, getting the job done. It's only in school that we call collaboration cheating. So that's, again, remember I said we're sort of fighting this culture war. That's what one battle in, in the culture war we're fighting, is that collaboration is a wonderful life skill. We want children to learn how to leverage each other's intelligence and leverage each other's skills. Now, I'll, I'll just talk I'll, briefly about the journal. The Sugar Journal stores everything. It just stores everything you do. You never hit save in Sugar, because Sugar knows you want to save. And it keeps versions of everything you do. And so it, it, it's just always there. But it's more than just a, a, a way of saving your work. It saves the things you make. It also saves the actions you took to make them. So it saves the nouns and the verbs. It saves a record of who you were collaborating with as you were making things. And you can use your journal both as a way of revisiting work, as a way of sharing your work, as a way of reflecting, and there's also a tool that allows you to make uh, presentations from your work, sort of a portfolio tool.